Hi guys, welcome back to Derby Kai. Um, right, sorry there was no uh, video last week. I've just been so so busy, absolutely horrendous, horrendously busy. Um, I've got this I don't know, crap come off the roof. Look, all been cleared up recently. Anyway, uh, as I say, I'm really busy. I'm so far behind. I haven't even got the covers off yet. I really am behind on uh, a lot of jobs I need to get done. Let's just open this. Um, I've got no further on the uh, veg filter, I've done nothing on that, um, still haven't sorted out a new pump for the skimmer yet, still got to sort that out, I'm just so far behind, I've been really really busy at work and everything else, um, just only a minute, uh, so, hang on, how, I can tell I leave in the country, the bloody tractor's going past, <laughs> um, I said, yeah, I just I just really haven't done anything apart from standard maintenance, filter cleans and feeding them. That's all I've really been doing. Um, so hopefully I'll get a bit more done this weekend. <laughs> I'm really busy this weekend as well. Um, tomorrow, uh, I was going to have somebody around tomorrow to collect some fish. Uh, but it doesn't live too far away. So... Um, He's having a couple of issues that he'd like some help with, so I'm going to uh, pop over and see him tomorrow and I'll be delivering the fish. So round the back, the bunker, I haven't had any heat on for about a week um, to get the temperatures down a little bit, but obviously we're having a couple of nice, last couple of days have been quite warm, so uh, the water's a little warmer, but I think the water in there is about 16 at the moment, 16 and a half, something like that, so it's not too bad once they're... Um, floating they'll be fine and then on Sunday as well Sunday eve afternoon um, I've got somebody coming as well to pick some fish up as well so that will be tomorrow going out to do that um, let me just sit down here now one thing um, oh, that's, I'm absolutely knackered yes yeah, so um, we were having a little think me and Graham had a little chat the other day um, about the last the actual time the last actual time we actually had a a decent holiday or a proper holiday for the occasion or night away that type of thing um, and we were trying to work it out and it was if probably before we moved into this property um, sometime before to be honest uh, and obviously we moved into here um, and then we saved up for that and moved into here bought the property moved in and then we've been trying to uh, upgrade and renovate the property has been going along obviously the pond as well so we've been um, saving up for that uh, but for some time now we've been thinking about it um, getting a caravan some time ago really had a, a good think about maybe getting a touring caravan um, but obviously as I said moving into here and everything else that cut put on the back burner and obviously we've got Bisley now as well oh, excuse me that's my um who's that work can leave me alone <laughs> um, so let's just get home from work and they're still bloody phoning me anyway um, <laughs> yeah we've got busy now so um, as you probably know I have mentioned in the past uh, we don't like leaving busy so if busy don't go we don't go and it's just starting to rain as well it's going to get better <laughs> um, so we thought about getting a caravan which would be perfect for Bisley, it can come with us, uh, we can have some long weekends away, obviously with my setup it's going to be a little bit difficult if we do, because um, obviously you know my uh, easy pod, if I stop feeding um, a few days before, give, them a good, give the filters a really good clean out and all that and they obviously don't feed while I'm away, I could possibly get three to four days um, without them to worry about the filters uh, and as for the bunker probably the same as well. Um, if, I, if I'm not heating around there, obviously in the summer, it's going to be a bit warmer. But if I cut their food down, they're going to be fine for at least three to four days. So I think that will really give us uh, a chance to have a holiday away again, some holidays. So on Sunday, we are looking at um, possibly going to look at some caravans. Because obviously tomorrow, <coughs> I'm popping out just a little bit of some fish. Um, and then on Sunday I've got somebody coming on Sunday as well so uh, Sunday afternoon so on the morning we're gonna pop out and look at some a couple of caravans so who knows may find something we like um, and if we do 
fantastic we can um, hopefully get that make an offer on it wherever and if we get one get away for a while which we're looking forward to it's been a while now uh, would be nice to do have some uh, longer breaks and I have mentioned that said to Graham in the past if we do get a caravan uh, I could probably, we could possibly go down to the All England down in Kent it is a long way to drive for a day but it would be a perfect opportunity then to possibly stay over the night take the caravan down there stay down there and do the national so not the national the all england so yeah looking forward to that anyway um this rain's going to look look like it's uh on your quick show it's not too bad um so yeah got a few things to get to today and then tomorrow i'm popping out to uh, deliver some fish uh i don't know if i mentioned that i've been waffling that much i don't know if i mentioned what i am delivering a fish tomorrow he's got um unfortunately he's got a couple of issues with a couple of, of his fish that have come out of winter with a few uh, bumps and scrapes uh, and he's asked me if i can help him with those so we'll have a look when we're there so i shall probably catch you tomorrow okay guys it's now sunday as i said uh i'm going to bring up delivering some fish um and i'm going to have a check a couple of a uh, couple of his coyotes got a couple of small issues i want to have a look at but this is where I am today. I'm here with Neil from Stoke Car Adventures. He has got his own YouTube channel, so pop on over, give him a subscribe, tell him that Bisley sent you. I will leave a link down in the description to his channel. So uh, we're going to, at the moment, as you can see, hopefully you can see, they're floating at the moment. So uh, they've been in what, 20 minutes now? Minutes. At least about 20 minutes, half hour, somewhere like that. So I did bring my temperatures down. And the grow one so they're not too bad and they're about right now so we'll get them in bowl so neil can have a closer look at them and then um i'll probably get them on camera as well to show you what he's got and of course when you pop over to his own channel you'll probably see someone there when they're in the, in the tank or wherever uh and then we'll get a couple of his out so uh let's get them in the bowl and we'll see you in a minute what he does for it yeah. okay this is the first one Suda Kajaka beautiful scarlation on that and pearlescent skin I last, when I last measured it it was 32 centimeters but it's a hell of a lot bigger than that now uh, I haven't measured it in a while it's probably close to 38 I'd say Neil's gonna measure it when he can and he's gonna let me know but that is a beauty, absolute beauty. Um, this is the first one. That's a Suda Kikisui and a beautiful three step Kohaku from Aoki. Again, beautiful bit of natural light, so that bend is really going to start to come out on that. Again, he's going to measure these up and then uh, let me know. But absolute beauties. Okay guys, so um, I've seen them fisher in the, the main pond now. Um, we've had a couple out. Um, Neil's decided we've had a chat and he decides to quarantine one and give him a bit of a salt bath. Uh, I think it's a tiny bit of a, maybe an internal issue. So hopefully the salt bath will help sort that out. And the other one, it's uh, just a knock on its side. Um, lost a couple of scales, so we've had him out, retreated it, a bit of tamadine on there, cleaned the wound up and he's back in. And I think Neil says uh, you said you're gonna probably gonna sort your pond. Yeah, I'm going yeah sort the pond and get up uh, to point three. Point three. See how we got. Yeah. yeah, it'll help with those. As, as you said, it'll help with them, yeah. especially coming out of winter now with yeah. a couple of knocks. Um, it'll really help them out a little That's bit right. now, so that'll be a good idea for that. Anything that helps. Well, yeah, it's not going to hurt them. It's only going to help them. And 
and uh, as I said, once they're okay, you can, don't have to keep salting it or work its way out with all your yeah. water changes, yeah. so that's going to help yeah. that out. So, yeah. Uh, right, that's, that's great. We have a, we'll go in there, have a quick look at his uh, filter setup, and he's got a little uh, grab on setup as well, so we're going to have a look at that. Okay, so Neil's going to talk you through the uh, filter system and setup he's got here. It's a little tight in here, but it's uh, <laughs> quite a lot of stuff in here for such a small area. Yeah. Oh, you got, he's got three tempers in here. Too much. <laughs> <laughs> so you're running gravi uh, gravity fed to an easy pod. Yeah, so it comes up uh, with a four inch bottom drain uh, into the uh, easy pod. And then from the easy pod, it goes to a moving bed, which is a uh, un uh, 100 litre water butt. And what media is that? K1 or? Uh, K1 in there, yeah. So that's got an air pump in there and just steering it up. Um, and then it comes out of there via a valve uh, to a pump, to a 10,000 litre berry pump. Uh, and then back up through to a, t to a tempest. Um, and then back down to uh, the UV to the returns. But you're thinking of moving? Yeah. Taking a moving bed out? Because you're getting air through with your getting pump. Getting air through, and there's not enough flow coming through. There's flow through one, but the other two, it's very minimal. So uh, I need to get that. Yeah. So you're gonna, you're thinking of moving that moving bed and do it as a gravity return. Yeah. Yeah. That that will that will cut the your bubbles down going through your your pump definitely. Yeah. Well, that's it. I mean, it's, it, when I've done a water change, and the, the, it's like um, so. Uh, it's hard to describe, which is like really spouting the water up out of out the top and it just covers the sides. Yeah. Um, and I won't stop that. <laughs> the idea of the, the flow is to, to, to the exercise the fish as well, and to mm. clear the bottom of that. Um, but yeah, ideally, moving bed, move it up, and then this tempest that's behind me, link it to the shower. So it's a double tempest on the shower there, yeah. coming from the uh, skimmer. Well, moving that will give you a bit more room in well, here exactly, as well, won't yeah, it? Bit, it's a bit, it's a bit very tight, tight in, in there. Here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> very compact and beautiful, but very beige. I say yeah. you've got a lot of stuff in such it's such a small place. Yeah, it's, it's like my little filter shed on the main pond. Every said, "God, this shed's small. Where would you get it all in here?" But it, you make it work. It's surprising yeah. what you can actually get. <laughs> it's just uh, you need a bit of working space as well. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean the temperature at the moment is 11 degrees in the pond. Uh, it was 12 yesterday. Yeah. Well, it was a lot warmer, it was 19, 20 degrees yesterday, yeah, it's really yeah, freezing again today. Yeah. It's surprising, um, it's, I mean, I've only got the two sides that the sunlight gets in, so we're just going to have a window in the roof, Yeah. Um, just to give a bit extra, I think. Um, I should have put pier specs on originally, but... Yeah. Um, well, good thing about a roof, it does cut down on the, the build-up of algae in there as does, well. When you get, as soon as you get sunlight in it. Oh, so yeah, your yeah. algae comes, your string more, algae, more blanket issues. weed, and yeah. you know all that comes in. Exactly. Yeah. But um, yeah, I mean, it was a good starting point. Yeah. You know, I, I know where I've gone wrong, and I know where I want to, <laughs> where to go with it you now. Well, you've got to make mistakes to learn. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's just a shame there's water in the pond because I, I have to sort of climb over. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you feel me when you do fall in. <laughs> <laughs> Probably get it on camera. I'll set, I'll set the tripod up. <laughs> and over here, he's got his little grow one. Um, you can probably go and see him in there. He's got some uh, nice little fish in there. I think it's a shiro. Oh, so there's a shower of us in there. There's a shower in there, yeah. yeah. Um, Ginnan Ginn Shower. Ginnan Shower is another. Ginnan and Salvia. I can't tell what that one is in the corner. It's going to be a flash of orange underneath, but. <laughs> Can't see what's in there. Oh, that's, that, that's the Ginrin show here. I can't really see him in there, but uh, they're down at the bottom. Camera shy, as always. As soon as you try and film the fish, always camera shy. And uh, he's going to extend, the, take this out the back, and hopefully extend that out the back as well. So make it give you a bit more room and maybe uh, a big, bigger quarantine, bigger quarantine yeah. area and uh, grow on tank. So yeah, it's a nice little setup. So, uh, but you can, all, as I said, you can always you're going to go bigger. So, well, it's it. Yeah, I mean, I think more, bigger quarantine area better. I think. Yeah. Especially when uh, you've got issues with uh, your koi. Yeah. Um, I mean, this was going to be a quarantine originally, but then ended up being a, a grow on. 
uh, which is just the ideal size, I suppose, for the little ones. But you need something bigger just to. to yeah, as they to start to grow, yeah. you want them uh, somewhere a little bit bigger. But but yeah, so uh, the, yeah, so it's a good it's, start. As you say, it's a good starting point. Your first pond, really. Yeah. You, yes, you know, and it's yeah. you know you, you can always improve it and bit and build bigger and better. That's it. Yeah, you know? yeah. it's all part of the hobby. It's room for room for move, uh, movement. And, yeah, uh, and room for improvement when you're where needed. Yeah. Absolutely, so it's all looking uh, good. I say he's, he's doing the job at the moment. Yeah, well, it does what you need. Exactly. So that, that's the main thing. But you'll. Uh, I thought I don't think there's any koi keeper out there will say, Oh, I'm more than happy with my setup now. I say, I'm not doing any more. <laughs> <laughs> no, if no. any koi keeper out there says it, I'm sure they're going to be lying. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. When people say, Is it your forever pond? I know, yeah, it's my forever pond, but there's, you'll always think of something you want to do and change. <laughs> oh, if we had my way, the whole back garden would be a pond. Oh, I, oh, I know how you feel, yeah. Oh, I don't, we, yeah, but it's not always down to us, is it? No, it doesn't. No, no definitely not. No, uh, we, we were just the, the ones at the front of everything. Yeah, we? we're, the, we're in we've front of the camera. we got somebody else behind us. Tell them what to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, so, uh, yeah, I think hopefully Neil's happy with his new fish. Are you, ha are you happy with your new oh, fish, Neil? Brilliant, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> and fingers crossed, those other ones yeah. will be okay. Um, keep an eye on yeah. them. Well. Yeah. So just keep me updated on it. That's just if you need to, just get him out again, yeah. treat him again, as, uh, as we said, and hopefully they'll be okay. Uh, but as I said earlier, Neil has got his YouTube channel, so pop over and see uh, Neil and Stone Cold Adventures. The description will be down below. Give him a subscribe, show him some love, and tell him business sent you. Not this ugly mug. <laughs> that boy there, he's been absolutely golden yet again. Look, just lying down, not taking any notice. And he's got two dogs, and he hasn't bothered with them. He's just not interested. He hasn't got his ball, see? He needs his ball. That's the only time he gets into oh, I shouldn't have. I should have. See, look. <laughs> I see he perked up then, yeah, didn't he? I yeah. said the B word. <laughs> so, yeah, pop over to see uh, Neil at Stoke Car Adventures and give him a sub, and we'll catch you later. Okay guys, so it is now Sunday afternoon, um, as I said previously, not previously, earlier on in the video, <laughs> um, this morning I actually went out, well we went out and um, had a look at some caravans, and some nice ones, um, nothing's been finalised yet, no decisions made, um, and got back in now, about I don't know, 10 minutes ago, um, something like that, my visitor I had has now gone. I didn't record that, um, but he's been and he's collected two fish. He uh, had uh, uh, the Amasako Shiro and he had the, what did he have? The Tansho Kajaku. I'm not sure if that was a Sukuma. I can't remember, it's a Sukuma or Suda, I can't remember. But it's a beautiful Tansho Kajaku. Um, reluctant to get rid of it to be honest but it's really nice it was really nice and he's over the moon with it he's really happy with them so he's off now um, and as you've seen yesterday um, over at Neil's <coughs> dropped the fish off to him and again that, that Kajako in there was absolutely stunning really was it's better than the one I've got in my pond must admit um, and unfortunately he had a couple of issues with a couple of his fish that is original fish um, and he, as I said in there earlier on, he did quarantine one and we've treated another one, so fingers crossed uh, they're all okay. Um, he's going to monitor them for a few days and if they, any, if they can start to get any worse, he's going to do more scrapes just to see if there's anything he missed. But hopefully um, all sorted, so that's a fingers crossed on that, Neil. Hopefully they're all, all okay. Uh, so yeah, um, I'll keep you updated on the caravan uh, as and when. <laughs> Um, next weekend I've got people coming as well on one day next weekend uh, to pick up fish as well so um, yeah and then maybe the week after or, the, or is it next till the week after that or the following week I'll be popping down to Ken's again at the card collection because he's got more stuff coming out of quarantine so I'll see what he's got in there and who knows I may come back with some more uh, I can't stop myself I can't really can't stop myself from buying stuff anyway uh, that's it for now. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Hit that bell for your notifications. Pop on over to Facebook and Instagram. Until the next one, stay safe. Jobs are good.